This is not an easy video for me. I created 600 fashion and styling videos in the last three years on YouTube, and for that, I'm truly sorry. At the time, I didn't know better, I refused to see the ugly truth of the fast fashion, and because of the pressure of creating two to three videos per week for months, for years, I couldn't not buying from fast fashion. I had so many comments so saying, oh well, I already saw this look in the other video. Well, it's that kind of, your style is a bit boring and I have to create fresh content all the time. I'm deeply sorry for my mistakes and I'm deeply sorry for asking you to check the description box below to buy those items. Please watch this video to the end because I would like to take my part of responsibility also to explain to you fast fashion do not align anymore with my values, with my needs, and I will never ever buy again from them. The same way I will never ever creating a fashion video looks. So what is wrong with fast fashion? Well, I'm going to tell you everything. Poor working condition and unfair wages. Out of desperation, many farmers commit suicide. Overs will sue SOS messages in garments. Forced labor and cases of modern slavery are still shockingly being reported in 2023. Not to mention child labor, animal cruelty, sexual harassment, and forced abortion. So the cheap new trendy clothing inspired from runaway shows, the real one, and they're being pushed to high street fashion to stores on a weekly basis. So of course this was, um, and still actually, pushing consumers to consume more. And it also makes those clothes less quality and more disposable. And they've been replacing the new trends so quickly, so quickly that a normal fashion brand will do maximum two to four traditional collections per year. In fast fashion, are you ready? It's 52 collections per year. Imagine, imagine the waste. So consumer demands new clothing at an affordable price and being influenced by social media personalities. This is why fast fashion has been such a huge success. The fashion industry led by fast fashion is one of the largest polluters in the world. It's responsible for huge textile waste, clean water pollution, toxic chemicals, and 10% of worldwide carbon emission according to the recent report by the Ellen MacArthur Foundation. 10% of pollution, carbon emission in the world is because of fast fashion. It's a massive number. Fast fashion brands employ farmers and workers in the poorest countries under unsafe working conditions without paying them living a livid wage, violating human labor rights all the time. And I know this is not new, but I can believe this is keep going in 2023. So by buying cheap clothes from unethical fast fashion brands, you are supporting child labor, modern slavery, and the death of thousands of people. If you want to drive a change in the fashion industry, there are a few easy things you can do. And as a consumer, you have humongous power. By the way, if you like this type of content, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to click, click, click for subscribe. It really does help me. Thank you. It's still hard to believe, but many fashion brands are still using sweatshops. Child labor and modern slavery cases are still being reported, particularly in Asian countries such as Bangladesh, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, China, Taiwan, Vietnam, and the Philippines. So fast fashion brands are often associated with sweatshirts where staff members work under unsafe conditions, aren't paid a decent living wage, and with no health care. Not even a day off, actually, most of them. Some of them work over 100 hours per week for a cheap t-shirt. Can you imagine? And some hasn't been paid in six months. And if you do remember, in 2003, the fast fashion brands were also responsible for the building collapse in Dhaka in Bangladesh. The Rana Plaza garment factory killed 1,134 people, injured more than 2,500 people due to the structure failure. So those brands don't care much about the impact on the planet, animals, or humans, period. Many international fashion brands and retailers spent billions to audit their factories on corporate social responsibility. They make more and more effort, but trust me, when you will see the list of those brands, you will not believe it. Many shocking issues, unseen problem remains as audit are conducted by people with no intimate knowledge of the factories. Everything is fake, fake report and everything. The impact of clothing production on the planet is disastrous, but many fashion brands don't support 
environmental protection and animal rights as much as they should and as much as they pretend on their website as well. Every company should work toward treating its employees and the environment better. Unfortunately, most of those brands, they still employ sweatshirts and fail to sufficiently consider the environmental impact of their products and manufacturing processes. It's actually truly frightening. There are no better schools for children in some small stands, so most of them believe that they are better off being employed in farms and factories to nourish their future and to bring money into their family. So child labor is not only one or two factories, it's everywhere. And those kids are so young, so young. We talk about kids sometimes under the age of 10. And what's happening as consumer, we have to only support companies that they pay their employees a decent living wage to ensure reasonable working hours, food service, healthcare, and free time with no child labor or forced labor. I will link in my description box the list of the 89 brands to avoid and trust me you will be surprised because I was and I thought it was only few like we know most of them Shein, Zara, H&M and it's 89 of them wow so what you could do on your side is to gather more information about the brand you use and where you buy from to do a quick search on the internet I found a really good website called Good On You they have as well their own Instagram page and it's an amazing website when you they analyzing each brand and recommend the real one sustainable brands and I think it's really good because it doesn't mean that if you buy from a sustainable brand who's really care about the environment and the labor and everything it's not going to be more expensive actually and those clothes are going to last much longer so this is your call please show that you care for the environment how your clothes are made and the people who made them so what you can do instead is buying from those fast fashion brands is buying less, buying higher quality clothing, but try to do the research on the brands. I mean, it's not like we're buying hundreds and hundreds of clothes per month like I used to do. Buying from ethical and sustainable brands. Shopping secondhand for frisk clothes. I give a lot of money in charities. I'm selling some on Depop. Don't check it right now. It's closed. I always try to recycle my clothes as much as I can. Renting your clothes is really good as well. You can even rent now those designer handbags. You can swapping with friends and family, you know, especially if you have a um, couple of girls in your family, they grow so fast and they probably steal your clothes. Reusing, repurposing, you can take, if you know how to sew, you're probably the lucky one. You can undo a good quality material and probably creating another top, for example, just recycling, you know. So in my concern, I won't create any more fast fashion video, so I'm not going going to create one more fashion video about looks or styles or anything. I know my, you really love my styling tips and I really love helping women with them and this is why I update and change completely my styling course this year and I dropped the price by the way just a few weeks ago. I forgot to tell you. It will be linked below. What I really enjoy now is to share with you those type of topics despite the backfire I received on social media when I decided to stop doing the fashion videos guess what I will really love to talk something else outside of which color you will look best or you will look expensive and as much as I love don't don't get me wrong I really love doing those fashion looks for you for the last three years but I had a lot of backfire as well for some youtubers I couldn't believe it actually the, the fake people on YouTube the bad comments the personal attacks that I receive and of course people who are copying my videos I've done a research not long time ago I was actually amused women a little bit older than me they, one of their videos is word by word my video I created two years ago and I'm like well alright I hope you will support my choice I hope you will enjoy my news media topic they lot, some are really controversial some are super interesting I have so much fun to do it, but don't forget, I spend days and days of researching and videos and scripting, and I really enjoy sharing that with you. I know YouTube is still punishing me for changing a bit my direction of my YouTube channel, but I know now as well, I got a lot of new subscribers who are really enjoying it. It's going to be a bit of a risk. It's going to take a little bit of time. So thank you so much again for being with me. <laughs> I don't dare to ask you to subscribe anymore. Please subscribe. Love you very much. And um, please just, just protect this beautiful planet. 
I love you. Mm. See you to the next video. Bye.